Hi, my name is Nalan, and this is my new web show, Garden of Positivity. So here at Garden of Positivity, we're all about creating roots and mental and holistic wellness. So I want you guys to follow me on my journey of learning more about mental health, as well as many different things that encompass holistic wellness such as gardening, self-care, and best of all, tea. So let's get into it. For today's topic, I wanted to talk about the question, what is our purpose? I feel like many of us ask this question a lot, but we don't really understand what we're asking when we think about the whole idea. I have a couple of notes to help you think about it. So here we go. There are many ways that we can start to find our purpose. First way is by creating a growth mindset. The second way is to developing and finding out what our passions are. And the last thing is to give back to others. So I have a few notes that I wanna go over for us to figure out how we can find out our purpose. Okay, the first main idea, and this is a big one, you cannot live your life through other people's purposes. All right, so it's important to be clear and understand your purpose for yourself so that you can reach success and achievement, not through the outside world with others, but within yourself, okay? It's very, very important that when it comes to finding your purpose, that you're prioritizing your own peace and wellness before you try to help with others. Another big idea that I want you guys to think about is having authenticity. Having authenticity requires you to live your life based on your own rules and standards and your own morals and decisions, all right? So don't go chasing a purpose that you feel will, you know, benefit other people or whatever other people are saying that you should do. You know, you should do what's best for you and what aligns with your goals and your values. Another tidbit that I want you guys to take with you when it comes to thinking about what our purpose is, is that you cannot give what you don't have. So. Start by fulfilling your own wellness and well-being before you go out and try to serve others. So, in order for you to do that, I want you guys to think about developing your own passions. What are you passionate about? Is it many different things like art, sports? It can be helping others. It can be finding success, money, financial gains, anything. I want you guys to start living your life for you. I know usually there's a lot of people that come in and they say like, hey, you should do this, or I think you should do that. But it's best that you follow your own dreams and your own passions and what you think is best for you, all right? So think about that. Also, on the topic of feeling your own wellness and well-being, I think it's very important to prioritize yourself first because, you know, you can kind of go crazy a little bit trying to please everybody else. You gotta try to please yourself first. You know, prioritize yourself prioritize your own goals and prioritize your own well-being because at the end of the day it's your life to live okay all the naysayers and what you think you should do or whatever you do it's going to make yourself miserable if you sit back and look back and if you realize okay am i living my life for me or am i living my life for other people so think about that when it comes to what is my purpose is the main thing that pops in your head what is my purpose defined by others? Or what is my purpose defined by myself? And we all have unique and individual ideas of what our own purpose is. So it's best to take some time with yourself and just think about it. Think about what you want for yourself and for your life. Now, at Garden of Positivity, not only are we gonna be talking about many different mental health topics, but I wanted to get into a very important, passionate thing of mine regarding holistic wellness. Now, that is tea. So, our next segment here is my blends and trends segment, where we're gonna talk about many different mental health trends and topics that's in research and in the media now, while also I teach you a new tea blend that you can try at home. So, let's go, follow me. So, welcome to the blends and trends segment where I'm going to be teaching you a new tea blend while also getting into some mental health research and news within the media. So, 
today's tea blend that we're gonna make is a blueberry lavender pea flower tea. All right, so here I have a bowl of blueberries. Right here. We have some pea flowers in this jar. And here we have some English lavender flowers right here. All you need. Now, what you also need is a French press that we're going to put this in whenever it's time to see and brew our tea. All right. So, while I start preparing the tea, I'll give you a little couple facts about everything. First off, we have this English lavender flower. Now, lavender is very, very good for soothing and calming. It's also very good for insomnia and it helps with a good immune boost. So, we're gonna add a couple of lavender flowers into the French press. And if you smell it, it's gonna really, really good. Like aromatherapy, therapeutic, all right? Love lavender. Showstopper in this tea blend is butterfly pea flower tea or blue pea flower tea, however you want to say it. All right, now this tea is pretty unique because once it is initially brewed, it's blue. But if you add any type of acidity to it, let's say some lemon juice, it actually turns purple. And so if the pH changes, the color changes. So, pea flower tea. Also, some other fun facts about pea flower tea, that it is great for immunity and also great for skin and hair and collagen. So, we add some pea flower tea in our fridge press. Our next thing that we're gonna add is some blueberries. So, I'm gonna muddle these blueberries right quick while I give a couple facts about it. Now, blueberries are actually really, really good. It's a really good super fruit for you. It's very good for anti-inflammatory, but it's also good antioxidants and a great immunity boost for you. So, overall, this tea is like very, very, very healthy for you, for your immunity and for antioxidants, all right? So I'm just keep muddling this, and while I muddle, I'm gonna get the boiling water going, and then we can move on to sleeping. Okay, so now we have our blueberries muddled and I have my water going. So we're gonna add these blueberries to the French press. All right. Okay, now as you can see, everything is added into the French press. All we're waiting on is some water so we can boil and steep it. Okay, so now our water is done boiling. So what we're gonna do is pour some in the French press. And we're gonna let it steep for about three to five minutes. Now, while that's steeping, I want to start talking about the trend. So, mental health trend for today that we're gonna talk about is the concept of existentialism and as how it relates to finding our purpose. The definition of existentialism is the belief that we are creating our own meaning and purpose within our own individual lives. So, as it relates to finding our purpose, I want to propose the question to get you thinking. What is the purpose of a flower? Okay, some might say it's to grow, to give us oxygen, to look pretty. But what if it's just to be a flower? So think about how that relates to 
us as humans and as individuals. What is my purpose? My purpose is what I choose for it to be, to be me, all right? So, a couple of thoughts on existentialism. Any meaning in your own life is given to you by you. And we also have the freedom to determine what our purpose is. Not only do we have that freedom, but we also have the responsibility to understand ourselves. And I know many people may think about, how do I have so much freedom when there's so much chaos going on in the world and many things just beyond my control that is affecting me? But I want us to think about how we may not be able to control the chaos that's going on in the world, but we do have the freedom to control the peace that is within ourselves, despite all the chaos that's going on. Okay, so that was a little crash course on existentialism. Now it's time for us to pour this deep flower tea. It's done steeping. All right, so here I have a couple of lemon slices. Always got my honey and my mug, so here we go. Now, as you can see, as I pour, one of the fun things about pea flower tea is that it's blue in color. And that is because of the anthrocyanins that are in it. So, anthro, anthrocyanins, yes, it's a tongue twister. The anthrocyanins is the pigment that's in a lot of different flowers and fruit that gives it this blue color. And one interesting thing about it is that with the anthrocyanins, Determining on the pH of it is when the pigment can change color. So, I will demonstrate that to you right now. So, PFR tea, once you pour it, it's blue. But, let's say I want to add a little acidity from my lemon. So, I'm going to add a little lemon juice to it. It turns from blue purple. So, now this is one reason why I really love people are tea. Favorite color is purple. It turns purple and purple too. But it's pretty cool. So we're going to add a little bit of lemon. Just one of our lemon slices. Not too much. And as you can see now, it's going from blue to purple because of the acidity and the pH. So, something new that you learned today. Okay. And we're gonna add a little bit of honey. Always enjoy some honey with my tea. A little drizzle. All right, and there you have it. We've made some blue butterfly pea flower tea. So, as we enjoy some of our tea, let's go over, oops. Okay. So, <laughs> as we enjoy some of our tea, let's go over a couple of things that we talked about today. So, the main idea or main question was, what is our purpose? And that can be answered through an existential lens. And so, when it comes to finding what our purpose is, we need to look within ourselves and think about how we are prioritizing ourselves and what is our passion. Also, remember that we have the freedom to determine and choose what our purpose is in our individual lives and how we want to live it out. So, the purpose doesn't necessarily have to mean to serve others, but it just means prioritizing yourself and who you are as a person, who you are as an individual, and what's unique to you. Everybody's purpose is unique to them. I want to leave you off with one little quote regarding existentialism. Existence exceeds essence. That it is thus up to us, moment to moment, to use our existences to shape our own natures and values, to create whatever essence, whatever human being we choose to become. So, with that meaning, our existence is our freedom to create our own essence or our own purpose and who we want to become. So, make sure you're prioritizing your own peace and your own passions when you're trying to figure out what is my purpose in life. It is individual and unique to you. So thank you for spending some time with me learning about our purpose, existentialism, and making some butterflies, leaf flower tea. I really appreciate you tuning in and watching as my channel grows. So thank you and until next time, bye.